No matter what, I just can't program drums good. I wish I just had a co-producer. Have you heard of Moises AI? They have an AI studio and it has context to wear stem generation. Okay. Let's try it. What's up, YouTube? I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyProAudio.com. And yes, that's right. That's a situation that I sometimes find myself in as an audio engineer who's not really a music producer in the sense of like, you know, playing the keys and all that. And often I'll end up calling up on some of my producer friends who will take days to add a bass line. Moises AI has just introduced AI Studio and its revolutionary new feature that is called Context Aware Studio stem generation. Now, unlike other AI tools, this context aware stem generation actually works off of what you provided. So if I have a piano loop and I say, hey, I need some drums, it can then take that piano loop, analyze it and find the perfect drums to match it. It takes it a step further with melodic content as it will analyze each chord progression in the song to make sure that the generated stem matches perfectly to that key. And that's what makes all the difference. The context aware stem generation is not like loops, right? It's not just gonna give you a loop that may work for one part of the song and then not for the next. It can analyze the entire song. Let's jump into it without another word from me. When you jump in, you'll just go to AI Studio. You have this whole little project dashboard. You can create a new project or I'll just go to a project that I'm currently working on. Right now, it's just pretty much a piano loop, a vocal, and a couple backing vocals. And we're gonna do some cool stuff with that. So let's just hear that real quick. All alone, talking to myself. Since you're gone, gotta find somebody else Never thought it'd be like this Always thought that I would have your kiss Now it's just an empty home I don't wanna be alone AI Studio is a DAW. It's a digital audio workstation. It has everything that is required to qualify, right? The ability to edit this audio, even the ability to record. If I go up here to record in my little transport section up here, you can see I can even change this source input to what I want and set the input levels as well. I can choose my monitoring options and we got some other playback options, but one of the first things I'll do before I start any session, no matter what DAW I'm in, is actually go ahead and lock in the template and the key into the song. This AI studio, of course, is gonna use AI to auto detect that. So we'll just hit that and wait. While we waiting for the AI to do the work of detecting the tempo and the key of the song, I'll go ahead and do a little mixing. Look, it's done already. It's already done. It's giving me a tempo of 90 beats per minute. I ain't even had time to do my mixing, man. Uh, so it's giving me 90 beats per minute in an F minor key and a 4-4, all right? So uh, with that information, let's actually, I was gonna mix, so let me mix. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all, look, we got volume controls, um, double clicking will reset it back to zero, and we got pan controls, mute solo, just like everything you would expect on another DAW. Um, you just don't have inserts here yet, right? But you also have the ability to do any of the AI stuff that you want on a per track basis, including some other features like exporting and editing like I talked about before. Like this, always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. I think that mix is good enough for now. Let's add more to what we have going on. So I'm going to mute these vocals because any tracks that I have unmuted will actually affect what the Moises AI studio is looking at in order to generate the next stem. I'm gonna go over here to my little AI panel over here and you'll see all the different options that we have. So we have the stem generation, again, that's context aware. It's gonna use all these different key and chord changes in the sound of what I actually put in to determine what types of uh, stem is gonna generate. We can do drums, bass, guitar, and what they call other. Who knows what that is, okay? Um, the next thing you'll see is is that they have a preset section and a custom section. With presets, you can just go down to any genre and choose a genre that works for what um, type of music that you want to create here. Otherwise, you can go to customize and then you can text in a prompt and tell it exactly what style of drums, bass, guitar, or other to create. Let's start off with finding a perfect bass to match this piano. So I'm in the bass section. I'm gonna just go to the AI match. This is going to just use 
what we have in the session and determine the best preset or algorithm or settings, whatever. I ain't got to tell it nothing. It's going to look at what we got and determine what the best baseline is. So they're going to recommend it. Let's just go ahead and choose AI match and generate STEM. All alone, talking to myself. Since you're gone, got to find somebody else. Never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. All right, let's see what the upright bass will sound like. I have all the other tracks muted and only the two tracks that are actually audible will be influencing the AI generation. So we're going to go ahead and hit generate stem. Now let's see what some upright acoustic gonna sound like. All right, that was pretty quick. Let's do it. All alone, talking to myself. Since you're gone, gotta find somebody else. Never okay. thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't wanna be alone. That, that upright sounds pretty good. All right, let's go to drums, okay? So now we need some drums. We need some thumps, some boom, some bap. It might be cool if we did some reggae tone, right? So they have these controls, these con creative controls that I think, I'm just gonna turn these off, right? Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just let the AI do its thing right away. So let's just see what that is going to do. While I'm waiting on the reggaeton drums to generate, let's make a custom generation too. So we in the drums tab still, let's say. Um, heavy, fast paced R&B drums with time fills and rim shots. <laughs> and so now we're using just those three tracks. We're gonna generate. And while we are waiting on that to generate, we can hear our reggaeton drums. All alone, talking to myself. You're gone, gotta find somebody else. Never thought it'd be like this. Ooh. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. I like how it plays off the whole session like not just the piano but the vocals as well and it knows the section the section changes so it feel like we got an intro we got a verse section we got breakdowns i like that i like that i like that all right bet now let's mute those reggaeton drums and hear what the custom drums sound like all alone talking to myself since you're gone gotta find somebody else a little heavy on the compression. Never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> I don't know what that drum roll was. <laughs> this roll is crazy. We're going to select that. We're going to right click. We're going to hit regenerate. And let's just see. Boom. So it's going to use that custom segment just to regenerate what's happening. Um, and let's just see if it gets better. Let's hear what we got. Be alone. Okay. It did get better. It did. Now it actually sound like a drum roll, right? And I'm sure we can keep re regenerating and make it better and better. Let's see. I like where we're at so far with my reggaeton drums. The reggaeton drums actually work. All alone. But I think we missing something else. I don't think it's bass. I don't think it's guitar. I think it's others. So let's just go to others. Let's see the presets and let's see. Okay. Lo-fi keys or strings. Let's go strings. Um, we're going to clear this custom section and whatever. Let's this time use our creative control. So harmonic strictness. Let's stay pretty moderate on that. Let them kind of play around with that. Uh, context strictness, let's be a little bit more strict on that. And the conditioning, yeah, we don't got to go there. All right, bet. Let's go ahead and generate the stems. Who knows what those sliders are really going to do? We got to just play with them and see like how they actually affect the outcome. And it's actually good for like regenerations. Maybe once you generate it the first time and you don't like it or something, you can 
adjust those parameters. I'm glad that we have them. That way we can maybe regenerate something that we might like better. Let's see, that was pretty quick. Let's see what these strings sound like. Turn them down. Be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. I, I, all alone, talking to myself. Since you're gone, gotta find somebody else. Never With a little mix like that, this. that actually is not Always bad. That I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. I now look, let's say I wanted to bring some things out, right? So I got this drum track. What I want to do here, I want to actually mix these drums a little bit better myself and bring out some of the other elements. So I'm going to go actually to separate stems. Um, we're going to select the stems and the ones that I want to bring out are, um, I want to bring the kick out. I want to bring the snare. I want to bring the hi-hat out. All right, bet. We're going to see how those stems get separated from that reggaeton drums. Um, this just allowed me to get a better sound, right? So let's see now that I have those separated out. All alone, talking to myself. Right, so I still want to keep my original one playing. Since Not that one, this one. Gone. There we go. And then now I can play with the levels of the new stems that I just added in order to just beef those drums up. Somebody else never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. Okay, it even got some reverb in there. Talking to myself since you're gone. Gotta find somebody else. Never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. All right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of liking where we at. Let me go ahead and say that. So now let's go to these vocals because we have some uh, vocals in here. Let's remember what those Never sound like. Be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. I think this might be more interesting if Lydia was somebody else, right? If it sounded like another one. So let's say if we convert the voice, let's see, maybe Amy. Now let's go to a the guy. Years have changed us with one I like Miguel. I like Miguel. Let's go ahead and, and then convert that voice to Miguel. Wow. Never thought it'd be like this. All right, that's generating. And then we'll go to another one. The years have changed us. Let's go to George. One thing always reads. Thought it be like this. Always thought that I would okay. have your kiss. Where's that? Kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. Okay, Miguel. Let's hear Miguel again. Never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have, have your kiss. Now it's just. And then let's see who we got here. An empty home. I don't want to be alone. That sounds like an old man. I don't know if I like that one. Never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. But that sounds cool. That actually, it sounds very realistic. Never thought it'd be like this. Always thought that I would have your kiss. Now it's just an empty home. I don't want to be alone. I think the Moises AI Studio 
is interesting and it adds something special to the AI music creation world. Something that doesn't attempt to replace human musicians, but to collaborate alongside them. Um, I invite y'all to try it. I think you should definitely go and create an account and try this out, see what good it can do for you and just get used to using tools like this because it's the future, man. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavyproaudio.com. Let me know what you think of AI Studio from Wavy's AI.